I'm Josh Jabal. I'm the Managing Director of Yale Ventures, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 10th Annual Yale Innovation Summit. We're delighted you're here. Yale's primary purpose is to improve the world today and for future generations. I gotta say, over the last five, 10 years, we've had more innovation, more new startups, more job creation, more people moving into the state than ever before. It's a really feel-good event. There was just a brewing energy here. There's these ecosystems, there's biotech, there's arts, there's economic development, there's affordable housing. I think there are a lot of people here who have the audacity to dream and believe that they have an idea that will have impact, that will be felt far beyond their years. You can have engineers working alongside artists. You can have folks building in the biospace alongside healthcare entrepreneurs. That's definitely unique to Yale, to New Haven, and to what happens here at the Innovation Summit. How do you open access? Innovation isn't just about the development of new tools or solutions for problems, but also how we take what works and ensure that the most people can access those tools and solutions. Patient-centric for us does not mean patient only. Because if we're only trying to solve for a person here today, and it, to us that feels quite contra to kind of public health and population level health. The way we're going to solve the climate issue and the way that we've really moved ahead as a society, honestly, is through people starting stuff and taking risks. Well, I'm from Guess what? Major AI. It's artificial intelligence. Uh, it's a, obviously an incredibly hot area. It cuts across every industry where we have innovation going on. And so you've seen that woven through all of the tracks and many of the panels. We're trying to learn the general principles that underlie what it means for a model to, to be aligned with another model, mm -hmm. to solve a problem, to, to cooperate in solving a problem. Mm -hmm. We built a tool that uses AI for legal reasoning. So at Sanofi, our goal is to become the first large pharmaceutical company powered by AI at scale. The oldest technologies that we have are dance, music, theater, our voices, poetry, storytelling. Whether that happens through AI, VR, Vamer, etc., to me doesn't matter so much as long as people are continuing to be able to gather with each other. If you're not showing up and being honest, you're ordinary, okay? And I'm interested in being extraordinary. Innovation is not just the invention of a new idea or, or product, but technically innovation means when it actually gets commercialized. And this is an incredible example of how business and university and actors from public, private, and everything in between can come together. And we invest 50 to 55 million dollars every year and we invest into 75 or 80 different companies. That's what this event is all about. It's about bringing people together, the ideas, the innovators, with industry partners, with investors, to find those connections and hopefully use those as a platform to develop those technologies and see if we can have an impact. Collaboration is the key to success. This type of summit kind of speaks to the pulse of the ecosystem. That's not only in New Haven, but the state of Connect. How do we deploy technologies in a way that benefits communities and is really thoughtful about engaging communities from the beginning and right through the process? How tools that you're creating your brainstorming can help the ecosystem. I want to see New Haven become the Silicon Valley of the arts. We're leaders here. This is what we do. We can have a hub that's similar to that in Cambridge and other areas that is really going to drive innovation, get entrepreneurs to come, be successful, exit, and then do it over and over and over again. A new generation of social entrepreneurs has clearly emerged here. Folks that are thinking not only about how to scale their business and how to uh, adapt their technology to market needs, but also who is going to be affected by their innovation, and how those folks' lives can be made better as a result of their innovation. At the end of the day, there's been this false dichotomy between kind of doing good and doing well. Solving really large problems should also be profitable for the people that solve them. I think there's a freshness now about the innovation ecosystem at Yale and a real sense of shared mission that is 
not just about creating technology, but about creating economic development and economic benefit more broadly. The future is not fixed, and I think many of the people here have a mindset that we are involved in shaping it and we're responsible for creating a, a future that we want to live in and we want our kids to live in.